Welcome back to you, Butterscotch Biscuits. We're going to speak about my Bitcoin dark prophecy. But before we even get into that, I want you to know something. Don't ever forget the same stock market saying I've been telling you many times. It is a question. Do you want to be right or do you want to make money? I'm going to ask you that. My young little Padawans and my young little peanut butter sandwiches. Do you want to be right or do you want to make money? The first part, do you want to be right, refers to people who are analytical or have a lot of pride and ego. They want to go out there, do these public bets. They want to go out here and say, well, here's my long article. I am right because of this reason. These people, they get libido boosts when they're winning an argument. They like debates. They like being hailed intellectually. All right. I have no intellect. Zero. Friends, you go to every single RPG game I've ever played, I always choose the warrior. I don't want to click around the buttons, man. I just want to click one button, okay? So <laughs> Diablo Barbarian, listen here. We're always thinking about the game. Do you want to be right? See, on the surface, you think it refers to people saying, well, do you want to be profitable? No, okay? You can be profitable still being wrong. What do I mean by that? In my Bitcoin dark prophecy, which we're going to go through, if Bitcoin goes to $80,000, $90,000, and it's the risk zone, what I'm telling you, this is the answer, friends, I'm telling you right now, having 0% stable coins, which is USD allocation, at that price, I'm going to tell you is the wrong number. Now, I don't know what the right number is going to be. It could be from 1% to 99%. But I'm telling you, having 0% is the wrong number, okay? Because you are so focused on being right at that point. If Bitcoin is $80,000, you're like so strongly convicted, it's going to 100, 120, 150, 200, whatever it is, okay? The people who are gonna make money say, mm, I just wanna make money, right? So if it goes up from here, I'm gonna have exposure, but if it goes down, I'm also gonna have USD exposure, okay? That's the game we're talking about. Now, these dark prophecy friends, that's why I'm here to tell you, I'm here to, friends, not sugarcoat anything, but I'm here to fast track your learning. I've already given you the answer. Okay, let's flesh this out though. So the Bitcoin dark prophecy. Why is it a dark prophecy? Look at this. Uh, this is just me. Okay, I'm conceptualizing this. Been in the industry, 2018, 19, I went, I sniffed a lot of Twitter posts, Reddit posts, old YouTube videos. I put so many pieces of the puzzle. I'm here 18 hours a day. I'm here 18 hours a day. I love the game. I've been playing the game for a long time. Listen to this. Bitcoin dark prophecy. Within the next 24 months, the crypto industry will be in turmoil again, okay? So when I say this, it's not an imaginary horrible. It happens. Bear markets happen. That's just it, okay? Just the thing is, the bear markets of crypto are especially brutal because we don't have the government to bail us out. We don't have them enacting government policy to debase currency, tax the population in the shadows to resurrect businesses to do everything again. Now, I know crypto is going to be around no matter what. I'm just telling you there's a different type of pain. This uncertainty is leagues and worlds beyond what stock market uncertainty is, okay? Now, I'm going to show you this picture that I actually have a company to you, friends. This is the fall of Rome, all right? Now, why did I choose the fall of Rome? Bitcoin maxis. That's why, okay? Bitcoin maxis, friends, you're talking to a guy. I'm a squirrel, okay? I'm holding my nuts in my hand. I'm telling you, the Bitcoin Maxis are going to have this picture attached to them. The fall of Rome. Why? But by the way, I literally, you like, subscribe, bell button, all. I have a Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin sign in my freaking display picture. Okay? I love Bitcoin. Bitcoin's great. Bitcoin, the mind virus. Bitcoin, the up only number go up technology. Okay? It birthed the whole industry. Of course. So much deep respect for it. Bitcoin Maxis, though, the game's changed, okay? They are now morphing into the complete opposite of what they started at. Now, it's been a long time coming. The problem is now, there is a complete disconnect, friends. I'm telling you right now, look, I've seen this in the political sphere, it's the same thing. There are people who are political analysts who can see that there's a movement of a certain demographic of people that is disconnecting from what the politicians think, all right? Now, we all know this firsthand. Now, what I'm seeing right now is there's another divide, okay? There's a, there, there is a divide within crypto. The Bitcoin maxis, the rest of crypto, 
is now dividing. Bitcoin maxis are going the way of the soy. They are going to bend over to the government. The problem is, in that scenario, you're inviting the laggards and the skeptics. And what they're doing is, they're going to latch onto power. In a nutshell, Bitcoin OGs, he bought at a dollar, who bought at 10 bucks, $100. dollars they are going to get plenty of exit liquidity. Everybody else who is in Bitcoin, who thinks they're in for fix the money, fix, save the world, fix the money, fix the world, all those BS jargons, all those talking points, they think they're in there for it, okay? But we know, look, friends, if you're listening to this, you got some poop coins, right? We, we are like poop coiners compared to Bitcoin maxis. Look, we know why they're really here. They're here for wealth creation, okay? Not wealth diversification, okay? None of these BS talking points of, oh, golly gee, if you allocate 1% of your portfolio, you will outperform the S&P 500 by 1% per year. That's the type of, well, um, you think I sound like an idiot? No, 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 they actually do talk like that. They say, oh, if you allocated 1% of your portfolio to Bitcoin from 10 years ago, you get like 2% alpha on top of the S&P 500. BS. No one's coming in for that. You know no one's coming in for that, okay? I'm saying there's an overwhelmingly large amount of poor people now that are going to come into crypto that are going to continue coming in who want nothing to do with the idea of let's sacrifice gains to get exit liquidity for the OGs of Bitcoin. Okay, we know that game is happening. So that's why I've chosen the fall of Rome as a picture because we will see and feel it. And guess what? When this happens, if this happens, I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. But if this happens, you're going to have a friend here, your friend saw me, who is literally going to be making green thumbnail YouTube videos as a contrarian buying low, telling you we are going to win despite everybody else running away. It's going to be the same game, just inverted. Okay. The beautiful part is we already went through that mess in 2022. I'm just thinking ahead of the game. Remember I told you, friends, I've told you in many videos before. If you go back to little Timmy, little Timmy had a hunchback in 2021. Bitcoin's at 50K and you say, little Timmy, little Timmy, you shake him. Right, you slap him around and you say, little Timmy, sell your portfolio now. He will say no. And you'll say, why little Timmy? And he goes, well, I've got $333,000 in my portfolio right now and Bitcoin's at 50K. I need another three X to hit a million. And you say, little Timmy, there's euphoria everywhere. Everybody's going nuts. Elon Musk doge, we are 12 months after the Bitcoin halvening. So many things are telling you it's a warning sign. You should be taking something out. But little Timmy would say, no, I want another three X. But you know, in that point, the only way to rescue little Timmy is to go back in time during the bear market and get little Timmy instead of buying his portfolio to triple whatever he bought, to be three times more convicted. Okay. So that's where we're ultimately going from this. Okay. So the fall of Rome, I do believe, okay, I'm going to show, show you chance friends. Bitcoin will have a diminished gain and it will fail to conquer above 100K. Friends, I don't care about being right. I'm just telling you. We're going to, I'm here to make money. Okay. We're here to make money, not diversify. We'd actually win the game. Okay. It is okay for the world scenario happens where we get to 80K, you trim some profits, it pokes above 110, and then it comes back to 80. I don't care about that. I don't care about these little what ifs or maybes. I don't care, man. I'm just telling you guys that that's irrelevant to me. All I care about is weak hands are with me. All right. What am I going to do now? I can't have all my portfolio with the same thing as those weak hands. Because at some point, the weak hands are going to be selling. You have to be fighting for that future, all right? So if this happens, by the way, if you draw the charts out, this will usher in another five-year round trip for Bitcoin, and I'll show you. So you have the Bitcoin chart right here. Now, this golden line, let's zoom in, friends. This golden line is a 200-week moving average, okay? 200-week moving average, super important. I mean, it... Friends, just let me tell you something, okay? The 200-week moving average is so important. Michael Chad Saylor, cybernetic hornet's nest, digital New York real estate, beep, 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 laser eyes, doesn't talk about any indicators. Won't talk about RSI. Won't talk about stochastics. Won't talk about on-chain holders, nothing. He did speak about the 200-week moving average, all right, on national TV. Now, he did not say it, is, hey, I've got this degen line. If we go above the line, it's bullish. If we go below, it's bearish. He didn't say it like that. But he referred to the four-year average of Bitcoin. And he was in a cope denial mode in the 
bit, um, Wall Street cheat sheet equivalent when we're dropping down. When Bitcoin was still here, crashing down to 27K, he got interviewed. And Michael Chad Saylor said, he goes, Bitcoin moves up every four years. Okay, what does that mean, friends? It means the four-year moving average, Bitcoin's always trading above it. It was support every single cycle. What happened in our cycle last year? We broke below it. Okay, no more interviews for Mr. Saylor. He didn't do any interviews. Now we're back above it. Okay, now everybody's euphoric. This is super important, this line. Because what I've done is, friends, I've already shown you right now. If you go back to every single line, and by the way, when I tell you this, it's not just this line. The on-chain, Metcalf's law, all the evidence. Okay, so many things. Diminishing gains, no matter how you spin it, they all say the same picture. Okay, they all say, tell the same story. It says the same thing. We're slowing down. Now, if you just keep repeating this, and we don't have to repeat it, but if you do, the curl on Bitcoin ends up being a five-year round trip because we're not going vertical anymore. We start slanting and slanting and slanting. I'll show you right now. Okay, now this is the first cycle for Bitcoin where the 200-week moving average was, was existing. And you can see this. This is about a 20x, friends, from here. Okay, how, how far did Bitcoin go above the moving average? From 70 bucks to 12, 1300, it's about a 20x. In 2017, the John McAfee cycle, the moving average was about 1,500. We went up to about 20K. Okay, so it did about 10, 11, 12X. What about our third cycle? You notice that the numbers are getting smaller, friends, from 20 down to 12. Now, if we go back to the top here, the biggest disconnect from the four-year average, it did a 5X. Okay, its average was 12,600. It went and it did above here. If you continue drawing this out, you see this yellow line? I've drawn it out. I've just assumed we keep traveling up. If you keep following its line and dividing by two, which is what's happening every time, you get to anywhere from 80, you could even get up to 100K. Here's the problem. Stop your Bitcoin at 100K. In fact, friends, I'm gonna give you a bonus. Okay, we're going all the way now. Stop your Bitcoin at 120K and then drop 70%, which would be the best performing bear market of Bitcoin of all time, by the way. The last one we dropped 77%. I'm gonna show you right now. The last one we dropped 77%. So dropping 70% will be a godsend in the next one. Look at this, bang, 77%. You see that? If I give you 120,000 at the top and we drop 70%, we're back down to 36K. Here's the problem, friends. This is what Bitcoin's never done here. If you go, and check the round trip of that. That's about 2,000 days. That's another way of saying you've been holding Bitcoin for 2,000 days for number go up technology, right? That's five and a half years. The fall of Rome. Telling you now, if this prophecy plays out, look, here's the thing, man. I, I just told you, you didn't even have to hit my ATK, friends. When I told you, it's not about being right. You have to make money. Well, I made myself be wrong. And I told you, even if I'm wrong, it's a huge warning sign. Danger, danger. Be -woo -woo -woo. Ambulance signs, sirens going off. Do you see that? I don't care about my $80,000 mark. Go and ping 100K. I don't really care. I gave you 120K. We dropped 70%. Look what happens. Danger. That's why I told you here. It would usher in a round trip of Bitcoin. By the way, just playing some nice gentle angel music for you, just to calm you down. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. If you're watching my videos from now, you know so I'm pretty early to things, and even I know how early I am to stuff. Okay, so this is the next step. You always got to be two, three steps ahead. Okay, because other people's strategies, they can see this chart information. By the way, I already know this. Many people will agree with me. As the prices go up. Because they didn't buy enough, they're going to start believing other stories. Like, ah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Or what they'll do is, okay, if they don't want to be rude, they're like, well, look, he does know what he's talking about. But new information appeared, which he could not foresee. And this changes everything. Okay. For example, five countries adopt Bitcoin as a national currency. Join El Salvador. Okay. Ethereum ETF. 
wh whatever it is, okay? You can see just buzzwords out here to trick you. It's programmed in the charts. Okay, you know what's fascinating? This is, this, is the, this is the most amazing part, friends. This chart, this chart did not know, okay? This is 2021. This chart did not know QE, 0% rates, Elon Musk, it did not know at all. Yet, it still repeated the pattern from the past two cycles. An imaginary 200-week moving average that had nothing to do with anything. Neutral, unbiased, has no favoritism, doesn't know who Elon Musk is, doesn't know about QE. It's still divided exactly by two again. Like, come on, man. Like, exactly by two? Really? How many times do you want to look at this and still deny things are going on? So that's why I believe in that dark prophecy, right? It would turn out that the, the almost said it, the Roca Negra it, Bitcoin ETF was indeed a Trojan horse. That's what people would say. And I said, I will spend my days tagging all the Bitcoin maxis for their hypocrisy on altcoins. Some of them will block me due to their embarrassment and shame. Others won't even reply because they're gone. How do I know this? From the Celsius leaks, friends. I'm not going to call these people out. Just let you know. In the Celsius database leaks in 2022, there were Bitcoin maxis who developed a following by saying they're only Bitcoin lovers. Very nasty, friends. Two things appeared. One, they had Ethereum and Chainlink and other altcoins, okay, on Celsius while being Bitcoin maxis and saying Ethereum's a scam. Okay. And number two, they were selling the bottoms. Okay. They were selling on the way down 30K, 28, 25. Okay. So don't just trust these people with like shiny faces and smiles going like, I will hold my Bitcoin forever and ever. No. Nah, okay. They got caught. All right. They got caught. But I'm just, look, they lost all their money. That's why I don't want to kick anybody when they're down. But they got caught, friends. Okay. So just be careful. That's why I'm just going to remind you, I am turbo long right now. Just not forever, okay? Don't forget this picture of the fall of Rome. Now, what I've done is in this picture, as well, in this post as well, I've even made a meme, friends. This is what I try to do, okay? I try to think of how this story plays out because I know the only reason why people don't act is everyone around them. If you just looked at the charts, everybody would be amazing. You know that, right? If you just looked at the charts, it's just that we don't just look at the charts. We're here sniffing every day, looking at information. We're like, wow, did you see this new airdrop? Wow, did you see this new altcoin? The Ethereum ETF might come. We look at that and then we think, okay, I didn't see that coming before. Now I'm even more bullish, right? That's unfortunately the problem that happens. What I try to do is make memes. I know this is crazy, right? I try to make memes for the future for stories that haven't even played out yet. Can I see that meme happening on our timeline? With this meme, I said. And then I told them the Bitcoin ETF would definitely send it to 100K. It's the old rich man laughing, okay? And I even said, this meme will be sent around during the next crash. Are we making bullish videos once again, taking the unpopular contrarian route? Now, what I've done is as well, friends, look at this, okay? Soy boys, they are gonna blame that five-year Bitcoin round trip. Remember, in my example, I told you I'm wrong, okay? It didn't even hit 80K. It went to 120K which is crowd consensus, by the way, just to let you know, 120,000 is the exact crowd target, the average of everybody, all right? That zone, 120. Maybe you can push up to 150, but not really, okay? Ian Bellinas is 150. So just be careful with that. So if the crowd gets it right, and look, I promise you right now, there is a scenario where they get it right. We are in Bitcoin's fourth cycle. It is possible that the crowd gets really accurate at predicting where things land and we don't get enormous euphoria. It is that possibility. Do you want to take that chance though? If you see Jim Cramer and everybody else calling for insanely high numbers and then you know Bitcoin is anti-establishment meant to be and Bitcoin is meant to be rat poison and trying to take on the bug eater banks with an alternative currency for the people as a life raft for the sinking ship of fear. If you know that ahead of time, do you want to take the chance that everything appears smooth sailing? I don't want to take that chance. That's why I'm saying when we get there, a 0% USD allocation is the wrong one. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. All right. And the soy boys are going to blame it on some other narrative. 
the truth is it was always programmed into these charts. It's just that nobody believed the guy with a prenup brain if it happens. Now, what I did in these pictures, I just I just shown you the distances of the moving average. You can see here, I've written 20X, 12, 5X, and then if you match it out, 2 to 2.7X, yeah, you can get you 80 to 120K. And look, are you, look, I'm just telling you right now, Bitcoin's dropped 90%, 85, 77. Do you really want to bet that this next bear market, when the government doesn't have an auto printing, save the market feature for Bitcoin, it doesn't have that. Do you really want to be betting that this time is different and that it's only going to drop 40%, 50% and then go to the heavens? Because I don't think that's a wise bet to take. Because I can promise you this, friends. Even if it does, remember, I'm always thinking of the future. Even if it does only drop 50%, let's say it goes, let's say Bitcoin actually goes to 120K, back to 60K, that's a 50% drop, and then it continues up. I promise you, you will have so many altcoins to buy, you don't know what to do with yourself. All right. You can be eating a lot of jelly beans on the beach because the industry will be pumping. You don't need to worry about buying Bitcoin at 60K for your freaking 2X backup. I promise you there's gonna be a lot of things to do. You actually have no reason for FOMO. And you can see how slow the industry moves when it comes to traversing through these tough areas to begin with, okay? So this is actually, friends, remember, I started my video telling you the most important posts, and now we can come to the nice general conclusion, okay? So you get to see it here, okay? I don't know the future, but when Bitcoin's 80,000, Having 0% USD is the wrong portfolio choice, okay? Also, 100% USD is too much. What I'm saying is at the risk zones, let's actually go and draw the charts, right? At the risk zones here, you see these, this imaginary squiggly lines, friends, and these squiggly lines don't have to play out, but at these zones, either having no crypto or no stable coins, totally wrong, all right? Because our job is to make money, right? The people who wanna be right, they're gonna be banking on one direction. They're either gonna be all in crypto or all out. We don't know what's gonna play out, even though my odds are slightly higher, such that everybody who gets all out has a higher chance of winning, it's still not 100%. I still give it a 70% chance, it's not 100, okay? so if this scenario plays out where Bitcoin bursts up, you know, Bitcoin 120K, ETH BTC being 0.1, which means Ethereum hits a $12,000 mark, altcoins go even more ballistic. That would be fantastic for us. Not as much as the last bull market, but it will still be good. Do what I think about, okay, what comes next? All right, I've got weak hands in. What happens after that, okay? At the end of the day, you still win no matter what. Sure, you don't win as much as the person who went all in or all out. But if you learn from the last bull market, Ethereum, blue chip, rank number two, biggest market cap compared to all the altcoins, did a 50x from the low to the top. Look around you, friends. Do you see people around you with 50x bigger portfolios from 2021? No, you don't. Okay. In fact, you're going to see people, most likely, if they are up a 2x from their 2020 portfolio, they're doing better than 90% of everybody else, just a 2x. Because a lot of people put in a lot of extra money into 2021, and now they're net down. Maybe they started with five grand in 2020, they added 25 grand in 2021, so they've added a total of 30. Maybe their portfolio is back down to 30. Maybe they're even offside, back down to minus 20 because they added at the tops. You get the point. So in this scenario, I don't care about being right. I have no ego, have no pride, means nothing to me. All I care is you and I make it out safely, and that is by protecting ourselves with whatever you choose. Now, obviously, I don't know the real, real, right number. You can have 1% stable coins. You can have 99% stable coins. That's something we're going to have to think about when the time arises. But for now, turbo long to the moon, let's go. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button all. Don't forget it loves you.